Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So today we're, we're hopefully, we're to the point where we can uh, install and rivet the, the gearbox. So today we're pretty much gonna do that. Um, we're just gonna peel this skin back a little bit, just uh, maybe like four rivets back, just so we can almost, almost fillet a little bit, just to ease the installation of the, the gearbox. It has, to, it has to go at an angle and kind of cup in. It, it, it can't just be installed uh, straight up. So like I said, we'll, we'll take off about four rivets from these two rows on each side. And then we sh that should give us enough room to, to open it up a little bit to get the, the flanges in from each side and then put it in there and then we'll clico it in and then we'll start doing some rivets if uh, everything works out lying pretty good. Sweet. What, what were the rivets that you had to get, the flat ones? Uh, they're just uh, normal. Let me go get them real quick. So here's uh, the rivets we're going to need for the, the actual support right there where your wing strut uh, bolt onto. They're not really special rivets, they're just normal countersunk um, AD rivets. They're just the length and then the size. It's a little uh, out of the ordinary. They're not usually that big of rivets that you use for everyday use. So these are your, your number six, six rivets, which is pretty big, but you need that to support that structure there. So we finally got them in, it took a while. They're kind of back ordered, so I got them here. So. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep you up to date throughout the whole process and uh, we'll go from there. Somebody was asking if a lot of the rivets going in are going to have to be oversized. No, uh, there's a there's couple uh, here and there that do just because it has been repaired um, before. So they have been drilled out and it's by the time we got to it, it's, they're a little bit bigger. But yeah, well, it, it's just maybe five or six rivets that are going to get oversized, Perfect. but not many. Okay. Thanks, Oscar. Thank you. Bones, bones broken. <laughs> Everything's gonna be hurting. So to get this thing in, we went from the top down and then had to pull the uppermost stringers to be able to get this thing pushed down enough, right? To yeah. pop in. And now Oscar's gonna clico where the wing uh, struts mount to and then we're gonna work backwards with the stringers hey guys welcome back we uh, finally got the gearbox set and the uh, main structural uh, rivets in place we got most of it clear code uh, and all fits good, no issues. It was just a uh, pain in the butt getting it in there just because we had to do a little more work than anticipated. 
we had to take a couple uh, stringers off and remove this floorboard, um, the pan here, that we, we didn't think we had to um, remove since we didn't to uh, uh, drop the, the gearbox. But like I said, uh, now, now we can see why a lot of these that get ground looped or damaged, they just pretty much recycle them or sell them for parts just because um, it is a lot of, I guess, a lot of work replacing it so if it's not something that you know it's not sentimental value to you the airplane it's usually not worth uh, fixing but since uh, like I said we got this for a good good deal and it's something that we want to do it gets more uh, hands-on experience with some sheet metal and all that stuff so um, it's been it's been good but yeah it's it's tough it's it's a lot of work uh, replacing this gearbox like I said the uh, the mounts, the steel mounts for the gearbox wouldn't be as much work, but since this was damaged, uh, the whole uh, gearbox was damaged, so we had to replace the whole thing. Um, but it'll probably be like half the time just to replace those steel mounting uh, for the gear, but it's still, uh, it's quite a bit of work. So yeah, uh, um, I guess next time we'll we'll uh, mount the, we'll install the, the pedals and all the forward uh, uh, structural parts and close that back up same thing with the back that we had to remove all these uh, stuff here for the uh, the bell crank here and then the the flap lever and then put the pan back on so we'll we'll keep you up to date with that also so if you you guys are liking these videos you know shoot us a thumbs up and subscribe we really appreciate it thank you guys